Well, how's it been going? It seems like uh, you guys must have been at this for a little while yeah. leading up. Yeah, it's been fun. We've had a really good time. It's it's one of the happiest sets I've been on. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's hard work, you know, sometimes 15, 16 hour days, and you're doing seven scenes in a day instead of features where you're doing one scene in three days, you know, or sometimes you have a couple of scenes, but sometimes they can run on, right? Mm. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. But it's fun. Well, and it's interesting because, yeah, you've taken yeah. a bit of a break and yes. now you're back. Yes, 18 years. It's a that, little tiny smidgen of a break. <laughs> what, what brought you back to do this show? Like, what in, what interested you in, uh, this, in show? this show? This show, well, I hadn't planned it. I was just going to do a few plays because I'd always wanted to do plays. And then all of a sudden I thought, well, if not now, when? And so um, I, I said, okay, now, try. I didn't know if anybody would let me. but um, And then when I did, I did a play, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And then um, my my agent Rich Kaplan said will you meet on this thing and I I was like oh sure but I wasn't planning on doing TV or film I just didn't want him to think he was only gonna get commission of plays for the rest of his life because that's like no commission it's like you could buy a hamburger um, so I came in to meet on it and I'd done a little tiny bit of work and um, I was still very much in Martha's head um, but I was like, okay, well, I'll meet. And I met Adrian. When I went there, there was um, a couple of, uh, they were shoot, uh, casting another film. And so there were a couple of wrestlers, like uh, with the spandex suits. And one guy had a big belt and the bleached hair. And I was like, really? I didn't picture that for Bomb Girls. But, well, I'm definitely not doing this show. But at least, you know, Rich will think I'm a team player that I'm willing to consider. And then I walk in and Adrian Sarah, who's one of the uh, show's producers, and she also is a director of the first episode. And she's, um, she's, uh, she just has this energy. And she started, you know, I did the scene and she's like, okay, now, if you could just, and she gave me a correction that's like, that's really good, you know? And, and, and then she gave another, and I'm like, oh, I didn't see that layer with Lorna. And another, and by the time I finished, which was like 25 minutes, half an hour, I was in love with Adrian, and, and I was like, I can learn from this woman, which is kind of rare when you've done something for a while that you feel like somebody's gonna make you a better actor. So I thought, I can learn from her, and I also was in love with Lorna. And it's like, I didn't even realize Michael, uh, McLennan. I, I know people's first names and then I'm like the last names I fumble over and I'm like am I pronouncing that right? <laughs> but that that he had written those layers in and that Adrian had mined them out and I was and I felt this slight because I still had some of Martha in me so she has a different kind of than than Lorna who's so contained and Martha's so like Wah! you know so it was like I, I knew where I wanted Lorna, but I felt like I hadn't quite, so it was like kind of this like, so when I came to the car and my husband was there, because he drove me over to Vancouver on the ferry, so it would be a road trip instead of a slog. We do that sometimes when I have to go or he has to go, we go together and then it's like cozy and we eat penny candy and potato <laughs> chips. And all the foods that are verbatim when you're home, but you know, when you're on a road trip, it doesn't matter because calories don't matter on a road trip. You have to eat things that are bad for you, lots of it. So um, he's in the car and I get in the car, I open the door and he goes, how did it go? He looks up from his book and I said, I really liked her. And he said, really? I said, because he heard me on the way over, like, no, I'm not going to, but thanks for coming with me. No, I don't want to do TV. And I'm like, yeah, if they, if they want me to do it, I'm going to do the show. And he said he knew in that instant I was going to do it. And then, you know, the next morning they offered it to me, and, and I said, yeah. Because I wanted to work with... Um, I wanted to work with Adrian some more, and I and I'd fallen in love with Lorna, which I hadn't before, which you know I should have before, <laughs> but I wasn't planning on doing it. I wasn't planning, you know, like why would I? And I thought it was just a mini series, which it is, right. but I didn't know there's the option for it to, you know, maybe go on. But I'm actually really that would be fine too. Like either way is fine. I have, so that's how good it was. Right. It's not like. Oh God, no, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I hope we get the same crew. I hope we get the same, you know. Right. It was very embraceive. That's cool. Yeah. Well, a lot of women, you know. Yeah. Um, Wendy Green's producing it, and Janice Ludman is the other producer. So it's a lot of, like, women. Like, you know, it's, it's cool. Like, a lot of strong women. Yeah. You know, Adrian and then Anne uh, Wheeler, who directed the, the, the third chunk. There's, like, all these women, and you're like, Oh, look at all that a woman can be, you know, and we're playing all that a woman can be. So it's like it was very, and then all these young women, you know, all Jody and, you know, Anastasia and all these women doing like wonderful work, and you're like, oh, honey. So they're like, 
kind of like my little chickadees, even though they aren't. And you know, I would not tell them they're my little chickadees, but you kind of feel like all maternal, like oh, you know, oh, you know, and you try to. It's just I don't know. Warm my heart. Doing the show warmed my heart. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, it's unique yeah. because there there just aren't a lot of those productions. I mean, I know. there's not enough of them at least. I know, and it's Canadian. And it's Canadian. Like go figure. <laughs> I did one interview, and they're like. It was so good. I, I didn't think it was, I didn't, I mean, it's a Canadian show, <laughs> you know, because they uh, liked it so much. Yeah. Um, but quite an international group, too. I mean, well, right. yeah. yeah, it's really interesting. <clears throat> but it's in Canada. Yes. It's a Canadian story. It's like, we made a huge, huge difference in the war efforts, you know, take a farm field and build a munitions factory because all the ones in England have been blown out. And we were involved, not just on the front, which we were, our boys were over there, but we were behind the scenes. And um, I was just a part of Canadian history I, I didn't even know. Right. And it's, it's not like somewhere outside of New York. I mean, we are somewhere outside of New York, but it's Toronto, it's outside of Toronto. It's, you know, Canadian uniforms. It's Canadian, I don't know, I just proud. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's, it's nice that we get a chance to be that proud too, I because know. there's just, yeah, like I said, there's not enough of those. Yeah. So yeah. Where, where, uh, where do you think the story takes Lorna? I or, don't know, I, I don't know, I worry about her. What? No, I do. Yeah. No, I you you go <laughs> yeah. No, I remember. I one night I had to wake my husband up because I was, I was like, we were in the middle of block two, and I'm like, honey, I just don't know. Like, I just feel sad. And he's like, huh? huh? Like, I just I'm so worried about Lauren. I mean, you know, she has to be the, you know, ball buster. I was gonna. You can't say that, can you? She has to be like so strong, and the girls are like, oh, because she has to be like, come on, get a move on. You know, she used to be one of the women. She used to work on the line. You know, she doesn't fit in quite there. She, she's isolated. She doesn't fit in with the management because they're all men, and they, you know, she's able to be there and say her, but she gets slapped down. Her husband is, you know, he's. Uh, has his own challenges he's working at and so he sometimes when somebody has a lot of issues they they need to they can't control their own pain or their physical s circumstance then they um, try to control you so there's not that kind of loving um, seeing right. like who sees Lorna mm -hmm. you know and her boys are gone. Now they might have been like, oh, mom, you know, give her a hug, but they're gone. Yeah. So there's her daughter, but a daughter-mother relationship, you know, it's close, but it's a little different than a daughter-son relationship. And I just feel like she's like so vulnerable and so having to be so, and she's trying to keep everything so contained. And she's, I just, you know, like, I just, I'm like, oh, I just don't know what's gonna happen. And then this, uh, circumstance arose in one of the later scripts and I'm like oh no like I just worry for her right. that's very unique though too to worry about where your character yes yeah, so that you wake up your husband he probably wishes I wasn't quite so unique <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably like to get a good night's sleep instead of oh my god <laughs> what's gonna happen now but it says a lot about the script about yeah. the show I mean that's very interesting yeah and where what do you think her greatest strength is what's her her greatest strength yeah she tries to do what's right. Now she's misguided about what's right, but she tries to do what's right. She tries to be a good person, an honorable person. She goes to bat for people who hasn't, have no idea who she, who, who maybe dislike her, right. but she tries to do what's right. Um, she's human. So when she can't do what's right, it, it, it torments her when she realizes she's made a mistake, but then she tries to fix it as best she can. But she can't fix everything because she's human and she doesn't have, she's not God. So sometimes when you try to fix things, um, I'm talking now from my own personal experience, <laughs> you just make a bigger mess of it <laughs> because you think, okay, this will fix it. No, that just screws it up even more, <laughs> you know. So um, she's got a real loving heart and she cares, like she really cares. That's really cool. Uh, it, it sounds like as well from your co-stars that mm -hmm. they're all uh, they're all happy to be partnering with you on the show. Aww. Uh, did Aww. you uh, did you have any uh, special moments on set? I guess it, I, I had a lot. Was, I had yeah. I just I don't know. I felt so um, 
It was so wonderful. I felt like we were all, everybody, it, like, it, I know we're the ones who come up here and talk, but it really wasn't just us actors. Like we wouldn't have been able to dive into the characters if it hadn't been for all the work of the, you know, wardrobe and the face and the hair and the and the sets and the lighting. It, I mean, all of it. We're we're just representing because we're the ones people want to, to come out and talk about it. But really, you know, Adrian and Michael and Janice and Wendy and you know, uh, Aiden who did the sets and you know, Eric who did the beautiful lighting and. Joanne, who did the beautiful costumes, they should all be here. And, you know, like, it should just not just be me. It should be like 120 people, all proud, strong, talking your head off and making no sense whatsoever because you wouldn't have anything to focus on. But really, it's, it was like a cradle that we all built that just carried, carried the show and carried us. Everybody did beautiful work, everybody on the show. Sometimes you know you'd be doing a scene. I'd do a scene, and I'd I'd look up and I'd I'd, I'd see Sam. You know, which is one of the grips going. He's he's a, he's, no, he's not too. He's a largish man. You know, he's been a grip for ages, and he'd be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or or you see, <laughs> you know, these <laughs> big big guys, and they're just like so sweet, like you know, so sweet. So sweet. You just felt so loved by that crew. They were amazing. They were, everybody was, it was like it touches your heart to see everybody bringing their best for this show. That's very cool. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of the episodes. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Lovely talking with you. Yes, it was a pleasure. <laughs>